Greetings, it's me, Firebee, and welcome back to Undertale. Let's see, last time I believe we did the whole fight with Undyne, in which we blocked a bunch of arrows and also ran for our lives. That was the thing that happened. And we made it here to the Hotlands. It's been a few days since I've played. Let's see, what is down here? Oh. Hello. What are you? Sha la la, I'm the river man. Or am I the river woman? It doesn't really matter. And I love to ride in my boat. Would you care to join me? Sure? Oh! It's like a fast travel thing. Well, let's go back to Waterfall. And then we're off. That's neat. Tra la la, what's my name? It doesn't really matter. Fair enough. And that's what these areas are for. Okay. Come again sometime, tra la la. Neat. Okay. How much? Alright. That means I can do a thing that, uh,. I'd actually wanted to do for a little bit. Uh, oh. So let me exit here. Off screen, I did a little bit of walking back. And by that I meant I actually kind of restarted the game. I wiped all my files and restarted. Uh, because why not? And I have a torn notebook for a weapon because which I bought from here because it gives me invincibility frames. I'm not attacking anything. Invincibility frames are a lot more important. And uh, behind a waterfall was an old tutu, which gives me more defense. So that's a thing. So in here, I'm going to buy some cloudy glasses. There we go. Exit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, let me fill my box with them also. Might as well. There's a reason for this. There is indeed a reason. And you will find that out shortly. No, no, not the snowman piece. I want to keep the snowman piece on me. Um, well, he's there. One more cloudy glasses. I think. I'm not sure exactly how many this takes. What? Okay. It's a cat now. Actually, wait. I don't actually have to go anywhere. Wait. Not, not here. It's over this way. I believe it is over this way. Like I said, it has been a couple days since I last played this. Yeah, down in the corner. We're going back to the Temi village. Because they're the only... As far as I know, it's the only shop in the game that will actually buy things. And also, I think once you've bought and appeased to Temi, like with Temi Flakes it, that appears. I'm not sure on that one. Welcome to the Tem Shop. And the thing is, Temi buys the cloud glass for, for the cloudy glasses. Whoa! You got a cloud glass! Mm, I gotta have that cloud glass, but I gotta pay for calling. Mm, Ten will always want a cloud glass. Nah. But... Uh, 65 gold. Sure. Boy. So we will now get them all out of the box here. Still one in there. It's fine. We're just gonna sell all these. 50 
50 gold, 50 gold, 50 gold, 50 gold. Almost. We're very close. In fact, I might just be perfect there. Yes! Perfect. And now, down here, we can pay for time to go to college. College. Sorry. Why not? Whoa! That's a lot of months. Contem really accepts. Okay, Tim go to. I I've completely forgotten the voice for half these characters. Tim, Tim go to college and make you prouds. T Tim, T Tim, y your face, y your face. Oh, Tim back from Cool Egg. Tim learned many things. Learned to sell new item. Yeah. Okay. Temmy armor. 20 defense. Makes battles too easy. Okay. Uh, the thing on this is, this starts off at, I think, just 9,000. And then the more you die, the more that price drops. Down to 1,000, I believe, in the end. But, um, that's a thing. It exists. The Timmy armor is apparently pretty great. Or so I hear. But yeah. Boy. We sent Timmy to college. That's what I wanted to do. Worth it. I'm out of second. There we go. And now we'll go back to the hotlands. Although I'm sure the, uh, I'm sure it's a lot nicer here than it is there. After all, there's all this water. Must be so much nicer here. In these caves. Right. What's in there? Uh... If we need healing items, I suppose I can just use the dog residue. I can go deal with that later. Tra la la, care for a ride. Sure, we'll ride in the boat. Where will we go today? We're going to Hotland. Then we're off! What? Okay. Alright. Tra la la, Temi Village. The room before the darkening lantern room. Yeah, it was just there. Pretty neat place. Come again sometime, tra la la. Thanks. Alright, what do you two want? So, sorry, Undyne, like, told us there was totally a human in the area? So, like, us royal guards are blocking off the elevators for now. Gah, even if the elevators aren't working anyway, we'll do our best, Miss Undyne. Strong and silent type. Alright. Are you kidding me? All those dog residues. Not a single dog salad. Might as well see if I can get at least one dog salad out of this. No, I guess I'm just super unlucky. I'll work with that sometime later. This is a lab of some sort. Oh. I see. It's us. It's you? Alright, that's apparently a downward escalator or something. It's too dark to see near the walls. That's not near the wall at all. That's not a wall at all, that's a computer! What are you? I can't see anything in here, apparently. It's just too dark. Huh? Oh, hello.
Oh, my god. I didn't expect you to show up so soon. I haven't showered, I'm barely dressed, it's all messy, and... Um... Hiya! I'm Dr. Alphys. I'm Ascor's royal scientist. But, uh, I'm not one of the bad guys. Actually, since you stepped out of the ruins, I've... Um... Uh-oh. I've been uh, observing your journey through my console. So you're the one who planted all the cameras. I noticed there was one hidden in a, uh, one of those little ice thingamajigs earlier. Or frozen snow, I guess. Hey, your fights, your friendships, everything. I was originally going to stop you, but watching someone on a screen really makes you root for them. Ha. Ha! I see what you're doing there. So, uh, now I want to help you. Using my knowledge, I can easily guide you through Hotland. Okay. Not bad. I know a way right to Ascor's castle, no problem. Tell me more. Uh, well, actually, um, there's just a tiny issue. A long time ago, I made a robot named Metaton. I think I've heard the name before. Originally, I built him to be an entertainment robot. Uh, you know, like a robotic TV star or something. Anyway, recently I decided to make him more useful. Fair enough. You know, just some small practical adjustments. Like, um... Anti... Anti-human combat features? Of course, when I saw you coming, I immediately decided I have to remove these features. Unfortunately, I may have made a teensy mistake while doing so. And, um... Now he's an unstoppable killing machine with a thirst for human blood? <laughs> but, um, hopefully we won't run into him. Uh-oh. Did you hear something? That sounds like the Haybot from Conker's Bad Fur Day. Oh no. Oh yes! Welcome beauties! to today's quiz show. What on earth? Oh boy, I can already tell it's going to be a great show. Everyone give a big head to our wonderful contestant. Welp. Never played before, Gorges? No problem, it's simple. There's only one rule. Answer correctly. Or you die. Oh. Well, I was not prepared for a fight. Also, Alvis is just kind of sitting there. Alright. Metadon, 10 attack, not... 999 defense. Boy, it sure is a good thing I'm not attacking this guy. His metal body renders him invulnerable to attack. Let's start with an easy one. What's the prize for answering correctly? Money, mercy, new car... More questions. Probably. Right, seems like you get it. The quiz show continues. Screaming is against the rules. Here's your terrific prize! What's the king's full name? Oh, it's, uh, it's Escort. Correct, what a terrific answer! Alright. Enough about you, let's talk about me! What are robots made of? Hopes and dreams, snips and tails, sugar and spice. It's probably metal and magic. Too easy for you, huh? The quiz show continues. Can I just spare you? Here's another easy one for you! Two trains. Two and a... Fuck, it's math! Um, 
Um, um. Oh, wait. Oh, Alphys gives me the answer! Not even bad! Quiz show continues. Don't count on your victory! How many flies are in this jar? Um... I... Correct, you're so lucky today! Let's play a memory game. What monster is this? Um... I'm gonna go with Frog... No. Metaton, you colossal ass. Also, that's half my health. But can you get this one? Would you spooch a ghost? Heck yeah, heck yeah, heck yeah, or heck yeah. This seems like a pretty easy answer. Great answer, I love it! I hope this was apparently not happy with the question. Here's a simple one. How many letters in the name Metaton? It's apparently C. Of course, that was easy for you. Time to break out the big guns! In the dating simulation video game Mew Mew Kissy Cutie, what is Mew Mew's favorite food? Oh, oh, I know this one, it's easy! In the fourth chapter, everyone goes to the beach and she buys ice cream, but a stale flavor and she's the only one who wants it. It's one of my favorite parts of the game because it's actually a very powerful message about friendship and... Alphys, Alphys, Alphys. You aren't helping our contestant, are you? Ooh, you should have told me. I'll ask a question. You'll be sure to know the answer to. Who does Al Dr. Alphys have a crush on? Um... I bet all of these have excellent answers. But... Which one will I choose? I'm gonna go see. Seriously? My my, how conceited can you get? I love it! And while you are completely wrong, you deserve some credit. I've seen her watch you on her computer screen, smiling when you succeed, shrieking when you fail, and always, always whispering. No, wrong, you have to go that way. In its own way, is this not love? Well, 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 with Dr. Alphys helping you, the show has no dramatic tension. We can't go on like this, but, but, this was just the pilot episode! Next up, more drama, more romance, more bloodshed! Until next time, darlings! Same. Same, Alphys. Oh, well, that was certainly something. You're telling me. A dog food. It's a bag of dog food. It's half full. The fridge is filled with instant noodles and soda. Why would you put instant noodles in the fridge? I can take a package of noodles. I'm carrying too many dogs, though. Might as well get rid of this dog residue while I'm here. Since it's not doing me any good in here. We'll grab a packet of noodles. Instant noodles, heals HP, comes with everything you need for a quick meal. Not bad. Okay. Wait, wait! Hmm? Uh, let me give me my phone number. Then, maybe, if you need help, I could... Where'd you get that phone? It's ancient! It doesn't even have texting! Wait, wait a second, please! Was there a cat involved in that? Here, I upgraded it for you. It can do texting, items, it's got a keychain. I even signed you up for the Underground's number one social network. Now we're officially friends. <laughs> I'm going to the bathroom. Well, that definitely wasn't awkward.
Whoa. Hello. I have access to my box from everywhere. And another box. This day just keeps getting better. But virus, let me tell you about this. Hello? Wait, what, what voice did I even have for... Oh, right, okay. My brother would love that. He loves science fiction. And especially when it's real. Does he say anything different? I, I haven't actually been calling him as much as I should, because apparently he says something new on almost every screen. Did you tell him? It's a beat-up figurine of a... No, it's not A, it's just beat-up. Of a female human with cat ears. Fair enough. It's a teacup, shaped like a yellow lizard. It's full of soda. Hey, it's a computer. It's accessing some kind of puzzle in Snowden. Huh. Seems like the notes to something, but it's all written in chicken scratch. It seems like a walkthrough to a game, or... Hmm? By the way, speaking of the puzzle in Snowden, apparently if you say yes to actually understanding it and going through with it, it just turns into... You know, it's just like, oh, this puzzle is completely random. It's a puzzle nobody's seen before. But it just turns into, like, the sides turn red and then the middle is just... You can just walk straight through. And Papyrus just does a little spin away. It's pretty great. A garbage can. But it's pretty cute. Uh, this space behind the wall is only a few feet wide. So... Was Metaton just kind of behind the wall this whole time? It's a bathroom sign. Yellow feet are tapping just behind the door. Okay. Whee! Oh boy, books. Scientific books. They seem very dusty. All of these books are labeled human history. Yeah, sure. Let's see what they have for human history. You look inside a book. It's a comic of a giant robot fighting a beautiful alien princess. This doesn't strike you as very accurate. Excuse you? Whoever wrote this clearly does not know human history very well. VHSs and DVDs of various cartoons. They're all labeled human history. All of these books are labeled human history. It's a comic book. Two scantily shat clad chefs are flinging energy pancakes at each other. This doesn't strike you as very accurate. Excuse you! Were you not around for the energy pancake war of 43? Because that was important. It happened. You can't just overlook it like that. Maybe it's not an accurate depiction of that war. That, that might be a way of putting it. You look inside a book. It's a comic book. A hideous android is running to school with toast in its mouth. Seems like it's late. This seems actually incredibly accurate. Pink goop drips from the strange machine. Looks like Alphys' work table. Seems dusty. Wait a minute. It's an upside down heart into a normal heart into a phone. I'm assuming that's probably a phone. And then text talking about it? Hmm. Also, I'm getting very distracted by the picture on the wall. Is that? That looks like art from Cucumber Quest. I can't actually look at it to find out. But if I, if I were a betting person, I'd say that that was drawn by the person who did Cucumber Quest. The wardrobe is full of dirty lab coats. And a single clean dress. There are letters from many monsters here. Froggit, Snowy, Doggo. They're all unopened. I think that'll make more sense later. I don't know. It's a lamp with pink fish on the lampshade. There's no light bulb. An incredible invention! When not in use, 
this bed folds into an extremely easy to draw box. How convenient. It's a promo poster for Metaton's TV premiere. On the flap it says, Thank you for making my dreams come true. Oh. Clearly there has to be more to more to Metaton than just a you know, a human destroying robot. Huh. Don't know what though. But I guess we'll move on. Alpha's updated status. Just realized I didn't watch Undyne fight the human. Okay. Alpha's updated status. Well, I know she's unbeatable. I'll ask her about it later. Alpha's updated status. For now, I gotta call up the human and guide them. Oh. Vulcan strolls in. Alright. 8 attack, minus 10 defense. Mistakenly believes it's lava can heal people. You're hurt, I'll help! Uh... That, that, I, I think I'm fine, thanks. Alright. We'll eat half a bicycle. Ah, I'll help healing magmas! I, I think I'm good without the healing magmas, thanks. Thanks. Um... You tell Vulcan it's doing a great job. Its attacks become extreme. Ah, ah, it does my best. I, I, I'd rather it didn't become more extreme, actually. It's all the same with you. Vulcan parades around you proudly. I'm not sure why I'd want to hug a volcano, but let's try it. You give Vulcan a hug. It warms your heart. And your whole body. Ouch! Your defense dropped. Ah, so lovey. Nope. Phew. Vulcan's cheeks glow with a bright heat. Got 40 gold for it. Alright. Alpha's updated status. Gotta call them in a minute. We music in here is pretty neat. Maybe not so much as some of the earlier areas, though. But it fits the it fits the air, the theme of this area pretty well. The whooshing sound of steam and cogs. Fills you with determination. I was updated status. I hate using the phone. I don't want to do this, LMAO. You and me both. Okay. Oh. Sun airplane gets in the way. Not on purpose or anything. Sun airplane. Eight attack, six defense. Seems mean. But does it secretly like you? No way, why would I... I don't have a voice for this. Ah! Sunday Airplane shakes its nose dismissively at you. You tell Sunday Airplane it has a powerful rudder. Huh, you sicko! Oh. Sunday Airplane looks over, and then turns up its nose. You get close to Sunday Airplane, but not too close. Eh? Human? Oh, greens are always good. Whoops. Sunday Airplane accidentally bumps you with its wing. But not too close. Sunder. Ah, I see. And then just becomes tiny in the corner. Okay. That's a thing. It exists. Alright. Uh, next time on Undertale, we'll... 
This looks like one of those direction puzzles. As if there weren't too many of those in Pokemon already. We'll, we'll figure out how these work. And, uh, see what else Dr. Alphys has to say to us. Oh, actually, before I actually end off, Papyrus, what do you have to say? Steam vents? Well, that sounds awful. What if you're wearing a dress? Like a dusty tutu? Glad I don't, li glad I don't live in Atlan. I'll have to get his voice down again. But, oh well. Yeah, next time we'll see what Dr. Alphys has in store for us. With all these puzzles. It must be sweltering in here. I, I feel glad that I am not our main character here. Yeah. Uh, stuff happening next time. Check back to see that, and until then, farewell. <laughs>